Hold Fast Marines videos are sponsored by me. I pay the bills. Thank you. Hey everybody, welcome back to Hold Fast Marine, your local boat shop with me, Will, the handsome one. Anyway, um, just wanted to do a quick little update video. Um, I didn't get to post one up yesterday because I didn't make it because uh, I was pretty busy with the uh, shrink wrapping and my wife was on vacation so we spent some much needed time together. But, so here's what we've done so far. Um, <clears throat> we winterized the motor, uh, cut the fuel line so we can get the fuel out uh, so it doesn't sit, and started ordering some parts. Um, got a folder here on the, uh, on the Down East Boat Forum. I found uh, <clears throat> another gentleman who has a 21 Repco and had a nice side profile picture. Um, because I really like the scale of his wheelhouse. Um, so what I did was I took that photo, or two, well, one photo, two copies, uh, that you can see here. And what I did was I scaled up a canvas in Illustrator and decided to go ahead and do a scale drawing um, so that I could kind of mark out where everything was going to be on the boat. Um, where you can see here, I've got some of the dimensions there and then the detailed drawing of pretty much exactly how big or you know within a foot or uh, excuse me within an inch or so of how big everything is there you can see so thanks to that guy for posting up uh, that video so i say so a lot in my videos i don't know why all right we're drinking a worm town uh fresh patch uh, beer tonight. So I'll show you what we did. So everything, so what I did was I measured everything off the bow and the stern to get to a point and we came up and you see up here. So we took some measurements here and it's 11 foot 6 to the stern and 10 foot to the bow which corresponds with the drawing um, which is actually pretty good and it, it at least tells me that my scale is on. Um, or accurate rather um, and then we put some new marks to you know roughly how high the hauler was going to go in the, the top of the cabin which I think is actually going to be at this mark I don't want to go that high but enough that you know put a beer on it or phone and it won't slide off uh, for the rest of the measurements we have um, for the rough cabin start which is great because it's just forward of a bulkhead that's in the hull um, marked out the hauler here and then if we come back here this this mark uh, right there is where the uh, the roof uh, of the wheelhouse will end um, so that gives uh, from here where my feet are all the way back to there for open deck space which is great um, the kind of the things that I'm looking at here is where the if the cabin should start here or here um, I think we're going to go with the second mark. This is a little too far forward, uh, that mark. And I, I don't know. I like the bow of these boats. Um, but anyway, from here back gives me, you know, somewhere, you know, five foot or so. Um, and then another three feet uh, up forward uh, for sleeping or whatever. We're going to have uh, somewhere in this general area uh, down below. We'll have a head uh, for the wife or any other uh, ladies that come on the boat. Um, so that's pretty much where we're at on this build. Um, <laughs> this thing is smoked, broken. Um, it's pulled all the electronics. Out. Actually, some pretty decent electronics that came with this boat. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I think uh, coming up next weekend, um, my buddy's going to come up. We're going to build the shrink house over the top. And then I can start really getting into uh, cutting stuff off. I just don't want to do it now um, because if I do, I could get water down in below. I don't really want to do that. Um, I don't want to have to replace the aft deck um, this year. Uh, maybe next year, year after, um, and do it over. Um, this deck, I think I said in the last video, but I don't know, this deck actually sits up about three and a half inches from where the normal deck would. Um, I don't know why that is, but that's how it is. So, 
we're still going through the processes of looking for fuel tanks. Um, whether we're going to do something at the stern or we're going to do something under the deck. I think for this year or this coming uh, boating season, probably just do something uh, at the stern for now. That's a little warm. Anyway, so yeah. So that's going to do it for this quick little video. Sorry we didn't have a, a build for you, but it's going to keep you up to date with what we're doing. But we'll tune in next time and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be doing some demo, hopefully removing this entire uh, center console. So we'll see you next time.